What is up, everybody? Um, I wanted to do a quick video um, because I read something on my news feed scrolling through Facebook the other day that um, really, really pissed me off. Um, and I felt like I needed to to put it out there and kind of vent a little bit about it um, and get you guys' opinions and thoughts on it. I've always been a guy who's big on big on um, you know military service and respecting those guys and truly appreciating their service because they have the balls to do stuff that I could never do. Um, and at the end of the day, uh, there's been a little bit of an uproar and people complaining and bitching about the fact that this service dog um, got to go into a Texas roadhouse, a local Texas roadhouse, allowed this um, service dog who did actual tours overseas come in and eat a free meal on Veterans Day. And the fact that people got upset about it and mad about it um, absolutely disgusted me. Um, it really, really, really upset me, really made me angry. Um, because I just look at this and, you know, these people are sitting there angry that this dog that's done tours overseas um, can't eat a free steak at a restaurant. Um, really, really made me upset. Uh, you know, for, for me, I look at this and go, that dog deserves that food on its plate more than your fat ass does. That dog's done things and accomplished things in this life that's going to be greater than anything you're going to do in your life. The, the fact that people want to sit there and pretend like this dog doesn't deserve or didn't earn that meal um, really, really just upsets me. Um, and, you know, especially with these being service dogs, they're highly trained animals, you know, they're, and that dog is probably better, cleaner, and more well-behaved than your, than your freaking kids. So, you know, and service dogs for me is something that you know that dog has has earned has earned that food more than anybody else in that restaurant. Service dogs most of the time do all the dirty work. Um, that's that are jobs most often that are even too dangerous for soldiers sniffing through minefields, going into dark going into dark tunnels where the soldiers don't have visuals, um, clearing stuff out, going in rooms where the the soldiers you know that they might you know they might end up getting ambushed or shot. I mean, these dogs do all the dirty, dangerous, hard jobs um, for, um, for their, um, their quote unquote, I guess, owners for lack of a better term, their masters um, in the service. And, you know, the fact that people were upset about this, the fact that people were angry that this dog who has just invested his whole life into training and, and saving human lives um, in in the process of fighting for our freedom didn't deserve to come into a restaurant and eat a steak it really it really made me upset because if that was a blind person in there with the service dog nobody nobody would have said anything nobody would have been angry that that dog was in there but they're angry because a military dog is in there getting rewarded and thanked by the restaurant for his service. It really just rubbed me the wrong way, really infuriated me, guys. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick video about it. I just wanted to um, vent a little bit about it, um, share my thoughts, see what you guys thought. Um, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, that dog deserves a meal more than more than anybody else in that room and more than a majority of the people in this country. So um, y'all can shut up, sit down. Good for that Texas Roadhouse. Good for Texas Roadhouse backing up that franchise um, as a company. Um, and for the people who are giving them bash, backlash, you're despicable. You're despicable people um, that have no appreciation for anything. So um, with that being said, guys, Appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, raw takes, no apologies. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when content's coming out. And as always, post what you guys want to see us do videos about in the comments. Let us know. You never know. Your next video may be our next 
bar stool parlay and we have the ability to go live now guys so let us know videos that you guys would be interested in doing lives on and having some back and forth debates um that's definitely be something cool that we want to start doing so let me know guys peace out until next time let me know what y'all think